Organic social is actually one of the most powerful tools that any paid media person should be paying attention to. So let's get into the three most important things that I use organic social for to allow me to build ads that can spend hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars and scale brands to the moon and make it really easy for you to do so. Let's get started. The first thing we really need to understand is that organic social is actually tremendously insightful when it comes to market research and understanding consumer psychology. Organic social will give us pain points and also allow us to understand the inspiration for the behaviors that our target customers are making with our business. So probably the most important thing what I would start off with right away is go ahead and read the comments on your organic social media. Learning what people respond to, what text, what copy, what positioning, features, benefits, all these types of things are important. What creative images and videos get people to engage. If we've read the comments and we understand the sentiment and we learn what people are responding to, we can use that to make really killer organic social. And you're like, but what does that do with ads? Well, remember, organic social is earned. Paid ads is also earned. The better your ad, the lower your CPM, the greater the reach. If you can understand what content people respond to, what concepts, what words, what images, what video, and then you start using that exact content in your paid ad, your estimated action rate is gonna go up, which means your CPMs are gonna come down, your reach will go up, and ultimately, there's gonna be more money in your bank account. Organic social is one of the best ways to validate creative elements. Again, images, video, and copy to make the best ads. I can't tell you how many ads I run that have spent hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars that are basically just an appropriation of what crushed organically. You need to be leveraging this. It'll save you immense time and frustration, and most importantly, Money. Another thing that I love organic social for is that it allows you to understand what your competitors are doing and how they're talking to their customers and how their customers are responding to it. It's like having a spy inside of their business and it's way better than an ads library because you get the context of how things are working. How many views does that reel have? How many comments did that post have? How many people responded positively or negatively to it? This is incredible information and it's free and public. So what's one of the best ways to weaponize organic social from your competitors to grow your business? Follow and engage with your brands and their audience. Understand how they're talking to people. Understand how people respond to it. What makes you feel something? And you can also engage with your competitors' customer base and begin to steal those customers and the business intelligence that they're getting out of their organic social. If you wanna be as good or better than your competitors, one of the easiest ways is to understand everything that they're doing well. And it's free. Another way that I love to weaponize my competitors' organic social against them is I will appropriate their content formats. What messaging are they using? What content are they doing? What concepts are working with them? What are they doing better than me? that I'm not doing yet. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You know, there's an old saying that you're only as good as who you steal from. I love the idea of not wasting months trying to figure out what works and instead going to somebody doing it a little bit better than me and just letting them give me the roadmap to success. So probably the last point that I wanna cover here is use your competitor's organic social like you would normally use their ads library. Now, an ads library when looking at people's ads is great. You can see all the ads that people are running. Well, not all of them, and you don't really know if those ads are doing well or not. But organic social, you can see all of it. And you have a very good idea of what's working well. This thing got 100 likes and 10,000 views. This one got three. What if every time they post something like that, it crushes? Why aren't you doing it? Go to all of your competitors. Understand what works and what doesn't. The market research here can save you tens of thousands of dollars and make you millions because other people with more resources than you are doing all the heavy lifting. There's an old saying, McDonald's is the only fast food restaurant that researches location. Everybody else puts them across the street from the McDonald's. Burger King is really successful. Just be Burger King. You can make millions. Hey, by the way, if you like this video and if you've been watching this far into it, I'm sure you do, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. It means the world to me. And also, if you like this video, you have any questions or any other topics you'd like me to cover, drop in the comment section below. I will get back to you, I promise. It'll be me. And I'll respond back to anything that you have to say. Let's get back to it. One of the other superpowers of organic social is chatbots and DM. Leverage this customer feedback to know what you're doing well and where the pain points are. 
By the time somebody actually leaves you bad reviews, believe me, a hundred people have told you that problem for free. So one of my favorite ways to use chatbots is just to tell my customers comment below is something in order to get something. That quid pro quo can be tremendously important. Why not use this to see what people are interested in? Why not use this to grow brand awareness? Say tag a friend for instance. Why not use this to get email addresses and phone numbers so that you can grow your CRM list so that you don't need to run ads to get revenue because you can target these people effectively for free someplace else. If you're not using chatbots, you're losing money that you should have in your bank account. Everybody knows, hey, look, I get a support ticket, maybe you're using Gorgeous or some other tool. Are you leveraging customer feedback to improve your product and your brand? Maybe. Does this also include the DMs you're getting on organic social? Only paying attention to the emails and phone calls you get, honestly, means you're only paying attention to the most upset people. There's a lot of folks that aren't there yet that are in your DM. And if you start to respond to what's important to them, you'll get way less people demanding refunds and chargebacks because you start to care about the customer before they're so pissed off. When using chatbots and DMs and also going through the comment section, what we have to understand here is we are letting the customers talk to us the way that they wanna talk. What words are they using? What pain points do they have? What complaints do they have? What do they value tremendously? We can use those words in our ads so that we talk like our customer. And when we talk like our customer, the audiences that our ads make for themselves look a lot like the customers that have already shown an interest in us. Remember, our ads make their own audiences. All content does, organic and paid, because it works on the exact same engine inside of Facebook. This is a great way of using your ads to target people who look a lot like those that you love and target those that have an interest in what you have to say. This is low hanging fruit. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. You should be doing this today. Literally copy and paste that sentiment and start using it in your copy and I promise you, your CPAs are gonna drop overnight. This is an easy win that far too few people are ever talking about. Remember, ads do the targeting. How do you find the right people? Talk to them in the language that they use and the place that they're at. If you're enjoying this video and if you're this far into it, you probably are, go ahead and hit like. And remember to subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell so you get alerted every single time we have new content. If you have any questions, drop them below. And hey, if you just really enjoy it, drop it down below too. It helps the algorithm help me reach more people so that we can have more people, see more success and less stress. And this can be the best year for everyone. Boom.